You can't see them, you can't feel them, but they are the number one cause of train derailments in the country, cracks in the rails. Right now, Metro North and the LIRR are doubling down on their efforts to spot these potentially dangerous cracks. Seven on Your Side investigates Jim Hoffer rode the rails to see how it works. Jim? Well, between Metro North and the Long Island Railroad, there is a combined 1,500 miles of track, and anywhere along those tracks could be potentially dangerous cracks that are undetectable to the naked eye. The MTA uses a special train to see what inspectors can't see, and they are using it now more than ever. This train may look old, but it's equipped with high-tech computerized sensors that inspects the steel rails using electrical current and ultrasonic sound waves to see deep inside where cracks are hidden. This is your 70s ultrasonics. This is your defect coming down outside of a burn. You have your induction that gives you indication of the defect in, in, in a burn. That would not be visible if it's a walk-by inspection. You wouldn't see inside of it. And that's what makes this old but specially equipped train a lifesaver on wheels. The sensors underneath the train can literally detect tiny cracks inside the rail. Out of, say, 150 defects we might find in a year, there is a certain percentage of those that would break out into a full broken rail and we don't want that to happen under a train that could cause derailment correct which is what happened in 2013 a metro north train heading to new haven derailed and crashed into a southbound commuter train 65 people were injured the national transportation safety board determined that fatigue cracking caused the joint bars which holds the rails together to fail causing the train to derail this inspection train can prevent that by taking high-definition pictures of the joint bars as it rolls over them. Small cracks that a visual inspector won't pick up are picked up before they could crack any, any larger. Cracks can also cause massive train delays. Last December, a broken rail left LIRR passengers waiting on the platforms during their rush hour commute. The MTA has set a goal this year to use the special inspection train to check all 1,500 miles of LIRR and Metro North track, not once, but twice. We move passengers and we have to mitigate as many risks as we can. In the last three years on Metro North tracks alone, there were 100 rails that broke while trains were running. The MTA is hoping to bring those numbers down with the increase in these sonic inspections.